My paper is about the leadership of grassroots associations, and these are the little guys, little clubs in our communities, like the Lions Club, the environment groups. 67% of all nonprofits in Australia are actually these little guys. Volunteering is declining, sadly, across Australia, but is actually having a, a more acute effect on the leadership of these small groups. Because without people to really get things going, get that passion stirred, ask people to be involved, that these groups are going to fall out of the sky. When you dig deeper, the lack of time was not the, the biggest reason people gave. It was actually, interestingly, the behaviour of committees themselves. And it, it could range from treating people badly um, to really not keeping up with the times or, or, or not knowing um, how to run a group effectively. But sometimes we, we overcook things and we make things more complicated than they need to be. And so often I'd have a, a, a young person say that they've tried going on a committee but for, for some reason, they're, they're running their committees a bit old-fashioned. Like, you don't have to often have to have formal motions. And, and this was a craft group. Does everybody in your group need a police check, for instance? Probably not. And do you have to have all types of insurances? Probably not. And young people come with enormous energy and good ideas. And they might be doing things differently, like meet-up groups online or, or Facebook groups, and where, they, where you don't have to even meet in person a new kind of social enterprise developing and maybe we need to have a different form of incorporation that recognizes that people want to give back to society. If we don't recognize these groups, if they start becoming so invisible, we might lose them and then we're not going to have an avenue for people to get involved in their communities, to enjoy their hobbies, to get out of the house, to escape loneliness. I think it's crucial that we stop the demise of these community groups.